You know those days when your eyes just wish to look at something three-dimensional? It was one of those days today. This final week of summer semester classes, I, I needed a break. I needed just a mental reset. So I decided to take a hike up to our very conveniently located mountains nearby. Now, a staple of the college experience is a lack of sleep. And can confirm from personal experience, I made it up to the top of the mountain, the weather was a little bit hot, just warm enough, and I was so incredibly tired, but also gazing upon the valley below filled me with a sense of peace and calm that I had so desperately needed, and I just fully felt at rest. And then I really felt at rest. I just laid on the ground. Nobody was around. As far as I'm aware, there was nobody else up on this mountain. So I just laid down on the ground, closed my eyes, and fell asleep. I don't know why I did, I've, I've never done that before in my life. There's an old Red Link video that they talked about one of the culture shocks of moving to LA is people that just like fall asleep in public places. Just chilling, sleeping, totally like, laid out in a park just sleeping and it's prolific it happens all over the city i remember when i watched that at the time thinking i could never do that i've seen the light I see. it would have been better if i could sing <laughs> and i know that i for sure fell asleep because of how i woke up in sheer panic <laughs> I thought I was alone on this mountain. Turns out, twas not. <laughs> I was awoken to the sound of a father sternly telling his child to come back to him right now. Like it's one thing if you're just gonna rest, you know, pull your hat down, interlace your fingers, and take a little snooze. No, I was full on like asleep, like <sighs> totally like, <sighs> and definitely was looking like I overdosed on something. <laughs> now what I should have done in retrospect, was take that as a sign to just leave. I've had my fill of rest and freak out. It's time to go home. I did not. I got up and continued hiking. Still chuckling to myself and thinking about how I would tell this story in a video, I made it to the very top of the mountain, overlooked the absolutely gorgeous surrounding, and then a helicopter flew directly over my head. I'm talking like I could have casually chucked a rock up and caused it to come crashing down, which I would never do. FAA, please do not uh, look into me. I am innocent and I definitely have never flown my drone anywhere I wasn't supposed to. Well, that scared the daylights out of me. And then I noticed a second helicopter coming my way. And then a third helicopter coming my way. Um, what is going on? Oh no, did the dad call 911 and this is like the emergency medical team and the cops coming to get me? No, this was the LAFD. These were firefighters. And that's when I noticed the smoke. The, smoke. the mountain was on fire. The mountain was on fire. Be a fire right over there. We counted at least three helicopters. And as if I hadn't fulfilled my suspicious looking person quota for the day, I was the only person anywhere near it. Definitely looked like the arsonist. So you know what ran through my brain? Oh, I should signal to these emergency personnel that I am friendly and I had nothing to do with this. What is the best way to do this? To wave at them. And as my arm was arcing to do so, I realized, nope, that just looks like I am signaling to them that I need to be airlifted. And if my mug wasn't already plastered upon the LAPD's front desk for like arson slash threatening to take down a helicopter, after putting this video public on YouTube, it definitely sure will. If this is ever held against me in a court of law, I would just like to say the uh, stories within this are... No, that's perjury. I wouldn't take down a helicopter! Hello, helicopter. Uh, are you coming to get me? 
final week of these summer classes. Is that helicopter really circling around our house for a third time? Should I, like, actually be concerned? 